This is the story of Melvin McSchlob, who ate everything and just couldn't stop. <coughs> At dinner, he'd eat all the glasses and dishes. At the beach, he would eat all the sand and the fishes. When he was at school, he ate his math books. When he was at lunch, he ate up the cooks. He ate every table and ate every chair. He guzzled the whole state of Delaware. He was shot with a cannon and a silver bullet. But nothing could stop his insatiable gullet. With one single gulp, he swallowed the navy and consumed the marines with a side of gravy. He ate every soldier in the whole nation, and then finished off the U.S. population. He ate up the poor, and he ate up the wealthy. But he didn't eat cookie dough because it's unhealthy. He ate every person alive anywhere. He ate the whole world, but he didn't stop there. He proceeded to gobble up Venus and Mars. And he also chowed down on the moon and the stars. He ripped a hole in the fabric of time and space, and stuffed linear time right into his face. With the space-time continuum conquered at last, he went back in time and devoured the past. He ate Aristotle, and then Socrates. He chewed upon Homer, and Hippocrates. He ate the pyramids, and the Sistine Chapel. He ate Adam, and Eve, and the snake, and the apple. He ate Winston Churchill without any bother. He also ate up his own mother and father. By most accounts, he should then disappear. But he'd eaten up logic earlier that year. He ate up the gulf between reality and fiction, so he could eat dragons without restriction. I'd tell you how Melvin was finally caught, but he's eating this film, and so I cannot... <laughs> Oh! <laughs>